Hi everyone and welcome to our video on deploying Crowd Data Center on AWS using our Quick Start template. Crowd is Atlassian's centralized identity management platform. It allows you to manage users from multiple directories and control authentication permission across all your Atlassian products in a single location. We won't delve too much more into the basics of Crowd, but if you want to learn more about it, visit this link. Now let's talk about deploying Crowd with the AWS Quick Starts. Before we start the actual deployment process, you may be wondering two things. Firstly, why you would choose a cloud or infrastructure as a service vendor like AWS to host your products. And secondly, what benefits you gain from a cluster ready environment. Let's start with infrastructure as a service. If you're not yet ready to move to Atlassian managed cloud products, but your organization is looking for the benefits that cloud offers like scalability and cost savings, then infrastructure as a service is a great choice. With this option, you can still have the control over your instance that a self-managed edition provides while minimizing time, effort, and money spent on managing the instance. Deploying on a cloud vendor like AWS means better scalability and increased performance at a fraction of the cost. This method also gives you the opportunity for increased automation and modernization. As for cluster-ready environments, clustering is key to ensuring high availability for your products. Availability and minimal downtime are important for any Atlassian product you use, but they're especially crucial for a user management solution. You need to be able to authenticate and authorize users to your Atlassian products at all times in order to provide your end users access to your Atlassian products. If your user management solution is down, then all of your Atlassian products are down. With the cluster ready environments that our templates provide, all the infrastructure for clustering is there, so all you need to do is add nodes. Now let's look at the basics of our quick start templates. If you choose to deploy crowd using AWS, the simplest way to do so and the method we recommend is by using our quick start templates. We also have templates available for Jira, Confluence and Bitbucket. You should keep in mind that in order to get you up and running as quickly as possible, the quick starts don't allow the same level of customization as a manual installation. You can, however, customize your deployment through the variables in the Ansible playbooks we use or copy our templates and customize them to your needs. The Quick Start uses the Atlassian Standard Infrastructure or ASI as a foundation. We'll demonstrate how to provision Crowd Data Center onto an existing ASI. If you're curious about how to deploy the ASI itself and what that infrastructure looks like, you can check out this video. Okay, let's get started. The fastest way to deploy Crowd with this Quick Start is directly through the AWS Quick Start interface. But when you deploy Crowd this way, any updates that are made to the Quick Start templates propagate directly to your production deployment, which could introduce unexpected changes or break your deployment. So we recommend cloning the Crowd Quick Start templates to a custom Amazon S3 bucket and launching the templates directly from there. Let's see what that looks like. To start with, go to your terminal and clone a local copy of the quick start using the following command. And when that's done, make sure you set up the AWS command line interface so that you can create an S3 bucket with this command. Include the name of your bucket and the region. Next, you'll want to choose which quick start to use. This first option deploys Crowd into a new ASI or Atlassian standard infrastructure. The second one deploys Crowd into an existing ASI. For the purposes of this video, we'll use the second method. Open the template and make sure to change the S3 bucket name to whatever bucket you created earlier. Come back to your terminal and return to the parent directory of your local clone of the quick start templates. From there, upload all the files in your local clone to your S3 bucket with the following command. After everything is uploaded, you can deploy your production stack from your S3 bucket. So go back to your AWS management console and change the region if necessary, and then go to create stack. When specifying a template, paste in the object URL of the quick start template that you're using for the deployment. And then hit next. On the specify stack page, change the stack name if needed and review the parameters for the template. Provide any values you want to and customize as necessary. When you're done, hit next. Review and confirm these settings. 
and then select these checkboxes at the bottom and choose create stack and wait while your stack is created. It may take a while to create your stack, but after you've done so and you see this create complete status here, your, D your crowd data center deployment is ready. And now all that's left to do is to configure crowd. So we're gonna go to the outputs tab here and choose this URL to go to the configuration page. And then you'll need to provide a valid license key here for Crowd Data Center. If you don't have one, you can sign up for an evaluation license. So we'll go ahead and put our license key in here and hit continue. For our purposes, we'll choose new installation, but you can also choose to import data from an XML backup to migrate data from an existing Crowd deployment. You can check out our documentation for more information on that process. The database configuration page already contains all the required settings to connect to the database. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. On the options page, you can edit the name of the crowd deployment and set the timeout value. Just don't change the base URL since this is imported automatically. On the internal directory page, you can configure how crowd should store user, group, and role information. And you can set rules for things like password complexity, attempts, and expiration. And on the default administrator page, you can create your crowd administrator account. Next, on the integrated applications page, you can integrate any applications or wait until after the configuration process to do so. You'll now be taken to a login page where you can use the credentials you created for the default administrator in order to sign in. You'll notice that the quick start only sets up one node. And in order to check that, we can go to the settings up here and go to clustering. And you'll see here that only one node is displayed. But now we can add nodes as needed. So let's see how we'd go about doing that. So let's go back to our AWS console and select our crowd stack and choose update. Go ahead and leave use current template selected here and then hit next. Enter the number of nodes you want to use in the minimum and maximum fields. This will set up a static number of nodes. Once you've clicked through and the update is complete, go back to your admin console in crowd and go back to clustering. And you'll see that the number of nodes here that you've chosen has been updated. And that's it. We've successfully deployed Crowd in a clustered environment using the AWS Quick Start template. We have a number of resources to help you in the migration or deployment process. Firstly, you can read the full documentation for the AWS Quick Start. Next, you can check out our documentation for more information on how to migrate data from an existing server instance. And lastly, if you're ready to try Crowd Data Center, you can download an evaluation license. And that's it. Thanks for watching.